Good evening. Actually, it's still afternoon. Welcome to my shower. You might be asking yourself, why is there a bright red base in a shower? Well, I live in a house with two other musicians and uh, my dad and my wife. Uh, my wife, well, she practices because, as you know, practice makes perfect. And uh, as a concert classical pianist, my wife needs to practice. So uh, this is one area where I can practice without disturbing her practice. And, um, well, I can just do whatever I want in here. So, uh, and in these times, well, you got to do what you got to do. You know, when you have to stay in the house, you have to find things to do. So I just decided to come in here and play a little bit, have a little fun, which is what I do when I play. Uh, normally, I'm out playing 25 to 30 hours a week, especially during the season. Um, well, because of the coronavirus, I am down to playing out zero hours a week. And... Uh, well, I have to practice to keep my palaces going right here. So these are my plucking fingers, you know. You know, and I have to, I normally pluck this bass a lot. So, uh, but the sound is so unique in here, I decided, let me do some work with my bow. Uh, again, I am an untrained bassist in, in classical music, but I, I just kind of like to screw around with with classical things, you know. Um, anyway, it's good good for your positioning, you know.
really good uh, exercise to do in front of you all, but I guess I won't do that. It's a pretty hard one. Anyway. series that is the uh, uh, Ionian there's an Ionian pattern root pattern and then here's a Dorian pattern Great job. 
jazz writer. But uh, instead, he was a great classical writer. Well, that's it for now. And I'll play a little bit longer, and uh, y'all have a great evening. And uh, remember, stay safe and stay musical. steaks. Then he's going to pour a bunch of garlic butter on top of it after it's cooked. Why does he do that? I don't know. I said you should talk to Joe and he said and he's going to put some Worcestershire on it. And, and then I said 
you shouldn't do that. You should talk to Joe and tell him because the way my dad used to do it, he would spread the butter on the steak and let it sit like that for about a half an hour or 45 minutes before he put it on the grill. Then it would all kind of like flavor it, but then cook off. But he's going to put it on there after it's cooked. And then I said, and he said, Where was I? Oh, yes. See, in a house loaded with musicians, we've got lots of noise. What? Good evening. 